In the vast, infinite expanse of space, silence is not just golden, it's the rule. As one ventures deeper into the cosmos, the chatter of life as we know it fades into a whisper, then into nothingness. The cosmos in its vastness is a realm of solitude, a place where stars twinkle like distant lighthouses, their light reaching us long after they've burned out. Our story unfolds in this silent void aboard a lone spacecraft, the only human-made object within millions of miles. Its crew, a group of intrepid explorers, go about their daily routines, their lives a symphony of beeps, hums and the occasional laughter. They live in a world where the mundane tasks of daily life are performed against the backdrop of the haunting emptiness of space. A world where the familiar hum of machinery is a comforting reminder of home in a place that is anything but. But one day, this silence was broken. A ripple in the void, a whisper amidst the silence, a transmission from the unknown. In the vast expanse of interstellar space, the crew of the spacecraft was accustomed to the routine hum of their ship and the occasional blip of their instruments. But this, this was different. A transmission, faint at first, grew louder, its frequency undulating in a pattern that was unfamiliar. It was like a song, a cosmic melody that had never been heard before. The crew found themselves in a flurry of activity, their normal routines forgotten. The transmission had their full attention. Data was gathered, analyzed and reanalyzed in a frantic attempt to decipher the message. The crew members, trained astronauts and scientists, turned into excited children, their eyes wide with wonder and a bit of fear. It was a sound, a series of pulses and tones that echoed through the ship. The rhythm was complex, the pattern seemingly random, yet there was an underlying order, a structure that was unmistakably intelligent. It was as if the universe itself was speaking, its voice a symphony of light years and cosmic dust. The transmission was unlike anything they had encountered before. It wasn't the steady, predictable signal of a pulsar, nor the erratic bursts of a quasar. This was something more. It was a message. A message from the unknown, a message from the darkness beyond. And then there were the peculiarities. The transmission was in a frequency range that was difficult to pick up, almost as if it was intentionally hidden. The pattern of the signal too was peculiar. It didn't repeat, not in the way one would expect a natural cosmic signal to do. No, this was something different, something intelligent. Hours turned into days as the crew tirelessly worked to decipher the message, their excitement growing with each passing moment. But as they dug deeper into the transmission, as they started to unravel its mysteries, their excitement started to wane. A sense of unease started to creep in, a sense of dread that they could not shake off. As the hours passed, the crew's excitement turned into a chilling realization. In space, sometimes the answers you seek are not the ones you want to find. Picture this. The crew, huddled together, their breaths held as the final pieces of the transmission puzzle fall into place. The silence on board is deafening, only punctuated by the soft hum of the spacecraft's systems. Imagine the cold sweat trickling down the back of the navigator's neck, the trembling hands of the engineer, the wide-eyed disbelief of the captain. The transmission, once a mystery, now held a message, not of hope, but of despair, not of friendship, but of fear. The crew's excitement swiftly turned into a chilling apprehension as the reality of the message dawned upon them. Their hearts pounded in their chests like a drum echoing through the void. Their breaths quickened, the blood in their veins ran ice cold. The transmission told of civilizations far advanced than ours, of worlds beyond our wildest dreams. Yet it also spoke of an unspeakable horror, a cosmic terror that devoured planets and stars with an insatiable hunger. It told of a universe not of wonder and beauty, but of dread and destruction. Imagine the terror that gripped the crew, to be thousands of light years away from home, surrounded by the infinite black, and to know that lurking somewhere in that darkness was a beast of cosmic proportions. A beast that had ravaged worlds, extinguished stars, and silenced civilizations. The crew, once explorers, now felt like lambs led to slaughter. The cosmos, once a field of dreams, now seemed a nightmare from which there was no waking. The truth of the universe, once eagerly sought, was now the terror they wished to unlearn. 
Every star they saw now held a dreadful secret. Every planet they passed could be the next victim. Every moment they spent in the void was a moment closer to an unfathomable end. The transmission was not a beacon of hope from a friendly civilization. It was not an invitation to a cosmic party. The transmission wasn't a call for help. It was a warning. In the cold, unforgiving void, danger lurks where you least expect. An unseen danger, a threat obscured by the black canvas of the cosmos. The crew, a band of explorers in the vast expanse of space, find themselves teetering on the edge of uncertainty. The whispers from the void have grown louder, more insistent. They can't see it, can't touch it, but they can feel it. It's there, a spectre in the void, a phantom menace cloaked in the shadows of the unknown. The ship, their sanctuary in the celestial sea, is now a fortress. Each member of the crew finds themselves in a state of heightened readiness. The engineers, their hands dancing over the controls, adjusting dials and manipulating systems in a desperate effort to fortify their defenses. The scientists, their minds racing, attempting to decipher the mysterious transmissions, to understand the nature of the danger that lurks unseen. The pilot, alone in the cockpit, grips the controls tightly. Sweat beads on his forehead, his eyes darting across the myriad of screens. He steels himself, ready to navigate the ship away from the unseen threat at a moment's notice. The tension is palpable, a shroud that envelops the entire ship. The hum of the engines, once a comforting purr, now sounds like a growl, a constant reminder of the danger that looms ever closer. The crew moves in a state of heightened alert, their movements sharp their words crisp. The air is filled with a sense of urgency, a collective breath held in anticipation. The whispers from the void grow louder still, a cacophony of cosmic noise that threatens to consume them. They don't know what it is or when it will strike, but they are ready. They have to be. This is their reality now, a dance with danger in the heart of the cosmos, a game of cosmic Russian roulette. But as they stared into the abyss, the abyss stared back. In the face of the unknown, even the bravest souls quiver. The crew had journeyed far, braving the endless expanse of the cosmos, only to find themselves teetering on the brink of a chilling revelation. Their courage, once as boundless as the stars, now trembled under the weight of the unseen danger. The spacecraft, once a beacon of human achievement, now seemed insignificant, a mere speck in the vast cosmic tapestry. The chilling transmissions echoed through the hollow corridors of their vessel, a constant reminder of the terrifying truth they had uncovered. In the eerie silence that followed, tension coiled around them like an unseen serpent. Their hearts pounded in their chests, a stark counterpoint to the oppressive silence. Their fate hung in the balance, the outcome as uncertain as the starry void beyond their viewports. As the countdown to the unknown began, the crew could only wonder, would they be the next whisper in the void?